Oh my gosh, that's super bright. Welcome back to The Average, or welcome to The Average if you're new here. I'm Steph, I'm the average artist, as I like to say. And today we are testing out the, okay, give me a second. Karandeash. Karandeash, I have no idea. Brand of Neo Color Aquarel water soluble wax pastels, because these were the ones that another YouTuber recommended and I wanted to try and I accidentally bought oils instead. You can see that video up here. But uh, yeah, these are what I actually wanted to try. They do seem a little bit relatively expensive for what they are. Oh, that's you, hello. So let's see if they're worth the money. These are like 25 pounds, which is probably about roughly, I'm guessing, 30 pounds, oh 30 pounds, 30 dollars. So that is a lot of money for a few little, Crayons, what's this I have? What's this, little stickers? What's that for? They're like see-through stickers, so I guess you can paint, draw underneath, and then like, stick these on top? But why would you just give me one? I don't understand, there's, is it like collect them all? Like buy as many things as you, you can't even see that. But they've got like crayon outlines. Can you see that roughly? Um, it doesn't, really makes sense to me. If someone can explain that to me, that would be great. Let me know down in the comments. For over 100 years, we have been accompanying you in expression of your- Well, you haven't been- not me, because I never tried you before. So that's an assumption. <laughs> Look at me already bitter about this before I've even started. Okay, we've got this little foam thing to keep the- the nibs. I don't want to- what are they? The tips? Yeah, the tips are nice and uh, pointy, I guess. I'm already drawn to this fuchsia colour because I'm obsessed. Oh, it's got a little tab, so when you like run down, you can tab, pull the tab out. That's pretty cool. Um, so it is water soluble, so you can use water with it, which I forgot. So I need to go get some water now. But let's just test these out really quickly. I mean, they should just be like crayons, but nicer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a crayon. <laughs> Great review. Thank you for coming. Goodbye. <laughs> Orange. Aren't you glad you clicked on this video? I really like how smooth you can get it because you know with like crayons or whatever not, Probably shouldn't refer to these as crayons, but <laughs> with crayons they get really crumbly um, And then the texture doesn't quite like even out if that I don't know what I'm trying to explain here But it doesn't really even out so these ones are nice and smooth Probably very nice to draw with. So I'm just gonna try a little bit of water Ooh, they're like super watercolory, which, you know, I should have expected, but I didn't, which is very nice. I also realize this sketchbook is probably not the best place to try water soluble stuff, but I do love the textures that this sketchbook gives me when I use like watercolor in it or gouache. So this will be really fun to try. This brush is awful though. Have you seen how separated this brush is? Cause I'm moving, that's the only brush I have. I have this one and a teeny teeny tiny one so you can pick up like color as well and just transfer it slightly so I don't know really what I'm drawing I just want to do like a sketchbook spread like I said which I haven't done in a long time because I've been busy with just doing the comics and more different pieces for like YouTube and things I don't really know what I'm doing but I'm just experimenting and that is kind of what a sketchbook is for so I don't feel like it's a problem, but okay. I like these already. <laughs> I was so like, mm, I really want to like these, but I was a little bit bitter at the price. But these are very, very nice. And I think as well, like with art supplies, it sucks, but you do most of the time, most of the time, you get what you pay for. There are obviously some exceptions to that rule because sometimes some art supplies are very good, like uh, the jelly gouache from Artex is pretty good, and Ahuhu, those markers are very nice. So never mind. I mean, I guess you could call that expensive, to be fair. It depends, like, what you think is expensive. I mean, I think Ahuhu and Artex are, like, reasonable prices. Anyway, whatever, we're not talking about them today. We're talking about... Cra d look, okay, guys, how do you say this name? Krana. Kran... 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 Or Kran... De... De... Ache. Or Kran... Dach. Or how do you say it? Just let me know. Someone, please help me. Help my little brain. I think what I want to do is just play with... These art supplies 
which is so nice to do so fun to just pick up something new and be like let's just try them out let's see oh my goodness i nearly dropped everything i did drop everything before my own that really liking the textures you can get with it for sure and uh let me know if you've tried these before what do you think of them So I'm attempting to do skin colour here with these colours that I have but what I was doing was just laying down colour up here and then just using water to just activate them and then maybe pulling them down here to see how that would look and I'm kind of enjoying it, having fun with this, it's nice. Not sure it's working but then again I'm not like finished yet so we'll see but it's a really nice thing to just have there to just try out i do really enjoy the way that these kind of like melt after you add water to them and they just have this like really like rich texture and energy to it that something i'm enjoying i think you can get the same with just using watercolors so if you did want to use them like this it's kind of probably more an idea to just for to have on the go and i also really like when you put down like a wet colour and then on top you you uh, use the crayon the crayon oh, the water soluble thingamajiggy it has this like really smooth smoothing effect which is very fun to use satisfying to layer down it's like you can just get some really nice expressive markings with these which is probably why a lot of artists enjoy using them i have to say that i am one of them right now i'm enjoying it and i think i'll probably be using these a bit longer especially like it's easy to just grab them and then add water especially as i'm traveling now because i'm moving surprise everyone if you haven't heard <laughs> if you care it will be nice to just grab them and be able to just like put watercolor down without even having to think about it too much like get the watercolors out get the paper out get everything you know there maybe there, there, there. this guy is jeej maybe if i try like this white because i really want like a lighter color so if i try this white which you cannot see that i've put that down i can barely see that and then like a line of this fuchsia and then maybe I can mix them together let me just clean my brush a little bit so let's just add a bit more I know people are probably screaming at me like you're doing it wrong but I don't think you can do it wrong <laughs> actually I do I, you can do it wrong but can you reactivate it once it's been okay I don't know if I, I reactivated that or if that was just like how it was but of fun being able to just mix them as well so let's see if i can just because i'm not really sure about this green by itself because it's kind of like too crazy a bit neony so maybe i can dull it down slightly with this light blue which doesn't really make sense but it does <laughs> just get some like still life of fruit always kind of works out there's something there is something really like fun about these that I can't really describe because it's just the way that they are smooth and you can just do like rough mark making and it looks fun and it looks energetic and I think that's so nice and the way that you can just layer them up oh I should have done the green first up here but oh well I should, probably should have done that with tissue I'm too lazy to get up to get tissue I think this green is too light this red to go over it and it's kind of interesting because with gouache it's like okay um i made a mistake i can just go over that color and it will go over it like nicely whereas this is kind of made a bit of a mess and you know each art supply has different things that you have to be aware of and sometimes it's not good for people who always make mistakes to 
not have a <laughs> art supply where they can just be like, nah, I'll change it later. Then I have to be very deliberate with what I'm doing. So that's also like something to consider. If you're used to using a certain art supply and then you go and you try something different, it can be really good for the way that you think about approaching something because you have to think slightly differently and it can be difficult, but I think it's a good exercise in thought processes and how you will approach an art piece. Like if you think, okay, I'm gonna use this art supply for this drawing, then you can think, okay, well then what do I need to do first? For these, for instance, I wouldn't necessarily use pencil underneath, but maybe for like a watercolor I might. I mean, it depends. I haven't really used these very long to know if I would use pencil underneath, but you know what I mean? It's just an example of like how you would approach something. So it's always good to get the brain working a little bit differently. Putting the light into water, which you're probably not supposed to do this, but just to like smooth out these areas in the strawberry where it's white but pink inside. Using lots of um, inspiration pictures from Pinterest, by the way. In case you're wondering if I'm just making these up, I'm not. It's good to use references, guys. Don't be ashamed of it. Uh, that's what we're supposed to do. But okay, I really like the way that these look. And uh, I think I found the way that I like using these is just to put them down and then go in with the wet brush and maybe pick up some colours here and there as you go. Oh, yeah, I like these. <laughs> I was thinking, they're really fun, they look fun, uh, but will I like them? Are they worth investing this money? I nearly like cancelled my order of them because I was like, do I like these? Will they be my thing? Like other artists say they're good, so they must have something about them. But is are crayons, and I'm, I am gonna refer to them as crayons, okay guys? Are crayons that good? And I'm just gonna say yes, I'm enjoying them. <laughs> and if you guys are hesitant and thinking about trying these out, I would say just go for it because I regret nothing. And I'm glad that I got them because they're fun. All together now, they're fun. I would definitely suggest if you get them to use like paintbrush with them as well. Okay, so now I am actually wondering if I'm missing one, <laughs> um, or if it's just like had space. Uh, I guess I'll find out in a bit. I really, really like these. They are my favorite thing that I've tried in a long time, so I'm super glad that I gave them a whirl. And I'm looking forward to seeing what I can make with them next. I mean, this was just like a little test, and I already really like the textures and how playful they are. And just fun, like I said, that's the point of art supplies, right? So uh, I'll link these down in the description. I got them off Amazon. Anyway, that's it for the video. Um, hope you ha are having a wonderful holidays, time off and stuff if you are celebrating. And uh, hope to see you next time. Please like and subscribe and uh, yeah. Bye!